All right, I'm arriving at my first signal of the day where the complaint is that people are waiting on the side street for excess of eight to 10 minutes, which I can't believe someone's waiting eight to 10 minutes for a green light, but we're gonna find out what's going on. Uh, we're out tracking in this snow, trying to get to this cabinet. Let's see what we have going on here today. Quiet, you. All right, so let's see here. So phase two and phase four, we have vehicle calls on. We actually only have calls on the side street. Your side streets are four and eight. So we have a constant call in phase two. I guess I understand why they're waiting a long period of time. However, I don't think they're waiting eight to 10 minutes. Let's see how long they really are waiting. Um, if we max out phase two, 90 seconds. So a minute and a half they could be potentially waiting on. We have a stuck call. I don't know why that's 90 seconds. I think we had a, we changed this a while back for a bridge closure where they were diverting traffic down this road. And I think this was uh, not changed back. So let's change it back to what it should be. Let's go back. Um, this was 35 seconds yeah so i used max that's what it was max 2 was our placeholder of what it was so i'm going to put that back to 35 seconds because our vehicle detection looks at the max one time unless we do some alternate programming to tell it to look at the max 2. so okay so now the maximum amount of time on the main line is going to be 35 seconds so we took care of the timing portion of it but let's find out why we're getting a max call coming in. Okay, so I see a detector box here that's got a fault on it. And that is, let's see here, that is phase two. So I'm guessing that's where it's coming from. Let's start by just cycling power to this. Just, all right, fuse is pulled out. Well. That looks fine. Let's go ahead and put that back in. Okay, I cycled this a couple times and I've also tried replacing the box. It seems I have a stuck call, which means somewhere down the line there, we've wherever that box may be in the snow um, is probably a either a bad loop in the road or the connection's bad. I'm gonna guess it's probably the connection, which is gonna be very difficult to find right now. But here's the good thing is, we have, this is our advanced detection, which is right here. You can see is, uh, where'd it go there? Uh, phase two far, but we also have other phase two, where'd it go now? There we go. We have phase two stop bar that is working though. And so what we can do is for the time being, just turn this off, which we can just, so just turn the, sensitivity completely off I'm on now okay there we go we have those dip switches all turned off on sensitivity meaning it's not going to detect which should put our detection working correctly we shouldn't see a constant call on phase two now okay it's gone but we have our stop bar detection working for that direction so we'll just adjust the extension time for our vehicle, you can see the calls dropped in and out there. Let's see here, let's just adjust the extension time for phase two, so we don't need to extend six seconds extra green time when it's at the stop bar. Usually we hover around the, I don't know, we'll do two seconds since they'll pretty much be going through and extending it as they're going through the intersection. All right, so now that we did that, we're just going to, where'd that go? update our tech log here, throw it back in the cabinet, and we'll move on to the next issue. All right, number one issue done for the day, on to the next signal. On to complaint number two. I'm told that we're not getting service over here on this direction, so we're gonna go check out the detection in the cabinet and see what's going on. I just told I was being recorded. All right, that's fine. Those cabinets. All right, 
So, let's see. This one here. Let's bring up the protection. So the complaint is for this direction right here. They said they're not receiving a left turn. I mean, they're getting a box there. You are trespassing. Oh, there it goes. Please leave the area. This area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded. All right, good deal. Uh, anyway, so, okay, so they got a call. They're getting a call. I bet you what's happening is they're pulling up past the stop bar because the stop bar is right here and the lane the road actually you are trespassing. would you shut up Please leave the area this area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded okay uh what's probably happening is they're pulling too far past maybe a small car is pulling past that i mean you know maybe the stop bar is a little faded there Please leave the area this area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded oh my gosh so here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and come up into, let's see here, this zone. Where are you at here? Okay. I'm going to take this zone and bring that up right about there. And I'm going to go back and line those up. There we go. All right, so now people pulling up far enough will uh, get detected. And what I'll do is there's a tendency for the algorithm to pick up traffic moving through on the, the main line here that runs perpendicular. And at times it can pick up a call. What I'll do is put a two second delay on these front loops here and that should, should take care of any potential detection issues if that would be picked up. So I'll fix that real fast and uh, hopefully that will be taken care of. Okay, after watching that for about a good 20 minutes, I think we're good to go. So I'm just gonna move on to the next one. This area is under video surveillance and you have been recorded. So we got a complaint that the main line is staying green for about five minutes and then the side street is only receiving about five seconds of green time in the morning. So I'm gonna find out what we have going on here. Unrelated to the issue, but it looks like we need to have uh, someone come out here and fix this. Okay, I'm gonna watch this. Now that I know that that's phase eight over there, earlier there was a car sitting there, but they weren't getting a call. I'm wondering if one of the loops is not working at the moment. I'm gonna watch this and see. The other problem I found is the truck over there is placing a call into the controller, but if someone pulls all the way up, there is not a call. So that front loop is gonna to have to be repaired. Obviously that's gonna be an issue right now with all the snow and everything. Uh, we can deal with that in the future once the snow clears up, but I'm gonna put a locking call in that direction. So as they pull past that second loop, they'll continue to have that call and be serviced. So. That's just as easy as going in here and going into my uh, locking feature, non-locking, and I wanna go over here and put a zero on there. So it's a reverse here. Non-locking memory was a one, so by putting a zero in there, it becomes locking. So now that phase eight call is guaranteed to have a call and give them a green, which is probably part of the issue that was coming in of them not getting their light. So I've got a couple things to turn in to get repaired here, but I think for the meantime, this will make things a little more efficient. Okay guys, that wraps up today. I mean, that's gonna have to have a, a follow up on this last one. So uh, I'll make notes of that and I'll be back here before you know it. Appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'll see you next time.